Celebrating 25 years of Georgia Family Connection. Welcome to Region 2. Located in the beautiful Northeast Georgia mountains, we have a vast array of natural resources and beauty. Many lakes, rivers, waterfalls, hiking trails, to name a few. Some of our region's claims to fame include the first gold mines in Georgia, NASCAR legends and also sports legends, famous potters, the poultry capital of the world, and of course, the home of the Cabbage Patch Kids. Habersham Family Connection, 18 years of history and one mission, helping families. As our community changes, so do our issues, from teen pregnancy, which is down, to school attendance, which is up, to graduation rates, which are way up, to child abuse, we're working on that one. And I know regardless of what comes up next, we will face our challenges with success because of our abilities, our adaptability, our accountability, and our sustainability. Yes, through the years, our issues change, but our mission stays the same, helping families. Family Connection of Stevens County has a legacy of serving as a catalyst for change in the community by uniting kingdoms to produce better outcomes, presenting our partners with relevant data, and encouraging our partners to focus on data trends when developing programs. As a result, our partners have learned to dig deeper to find the underlying causes of our social issues while keeping the vision for our community's future in perspective. We take great pride in other organizations getting all the glory for their positive initiatives because we know that we inspired them to take action. In 2009, Hart County had an unemployment rate of 14.9%. The Family Connection Collaborative, along with our community partners, got together to see what kind of programs we could bring into the community to help our people back to work. Transportation is an issue for Hart County citizens, so we decided to bring the work ready testing to them. We were able to get our unemployed tested and get them back to work. We now have an unemployment rate of 5.5%. The program is still in our community. One of our community partners is now running. Lumpkin, Towns, Union, and Y counties continue to receive funding from the Governor's Office of Children and Families for the Inoda Juvenile Family Therapy Program. Family Connection in each of the four counties partner with county government, the Inoda Circuit Juvenile Judge, the local sheriff's offices, and the Department of Juvenile Justice to identify juveniles and their families that are appropriate for our multidimensional family therapy model. This program successfully decreased felony commitments and short-term placements by 53% last year. In keeping with the goal of school success, one of our proudest Union County Family Connection moments has been the change in the attendance rate of students. When Family Connection began in 1998, the percentage of students who missed 15 or more days of school was an alarming 50%. Soon after Family Connection's enactment, we put in place the strategy of attendance support teams. This strategy is still in place at the schools, with school administration taking the lead to host meetings and invite parents. Family Connection is present in order to assist families in overcoming barriers to good attendance. Through this partnership, the current rate of students missing 15 or more days in Union County Schools is 9%. Statistics show that learning to read is the building block for school and future success to ensure that every child has access to early learning activities and that parents understand the importance of language-rich interactions from an early age. Many counties in Region 2 offer or support families to ensure children start school ready to learn. Programs include book home delivery through First Foundation and Dolly Parton Library, forming partnerships with libraries and the medical communities and bringing awareness through special events. As Get Georgia Reading puts it, Language nutrition is as critical for brain development as healthy food is for physical growth. Several years ago, data showed that the rate of binge drinking in Dawson County was higher than the state. Partnering with law enforcement, parents, and youth, our Be the Key media campaign brought awareness to the issue. The county commissioners took this seriously and in 2015 passed one of the first countywide social host ordinance in the state, holding adults liable for hosting underage drinking parties community is truly key in creating change. A primary unmet need in our region is well-qualified foster parents. 
Stevens and Forsyth County Family Connection have been a catalyst for recruitment for families. Over the past three years, Forsyth has grown the number of foster families from three to over 47. In one year, Stevens County grew from 10 to 15 approved foster families by parenting with the Department of Family and Children's Services and the faith community. Stevens County also works with partner organizations to support existing foster families at Christmas. Dawson and Lumpkin County Family Connection have invited Promise 686 to speak with community partners to help recruit foster families in the faith community and are partnering with the Department of Family and Children's Services to recruit new families. Many of the family collaboratives in Region 2 have been involved in a child sexual abuse prevention initiative run by the Georgia Center for Child Advocacy. The goal of these initiatives is to train 5% of the adult population in how to prevent child sexual abuse. 5% represents the tipping point, a critical mass by which we can actually change our cultural norms around the issue of protecting children. The tipping point for Region 2 is 24,000 people. As we begin this year, we have trained close to 12,000 people. Georgia is leading the country in this initiative and Region 2 is leading the state of Georgia. We believe that Region 2 will be the safest place in all of Georgia to raise children. Poverty is a complex topic that many partners and providers struggle to grasp. Dawson County has held three poverty simulations facilitated by the University of Georgia that, with a total of 200 participants, including county and city government officials, civic clubs, school system, chamber leadership class, the University of North Georgia teachers, interns, and community members. Stevens County, under the leadership of Tony Brown, trained over 500 adults using bridges out of poverty, understanding a framework for poverty, and getting ahead in a just getting by world publications. These trainings changed the way our partners worked with their clients every day. Raven County Family Connections works to combat childhood hunger during the summer months each year. We have operated the USDA Summer Food Service Program here since 2002, beginning with just one site, and now the program is up to 29 sites throughout the county. The goal of the program is to provide free nutritious food to children age 18 and under while school is not in session. Our program has strong community partnerships who help us accomplish this goal while providing employment to over 10 people each year. Region 2 collaboratives work diligently to help educate communities on resources available to families and children. Dawson, Lumpkin, Banks, and Stevens County hold resource fairs every year in conjunction with Head Start and school registrations. Habersham Family Connection has partnered to provide community job fairs and nonprofit resource fairs through the years. To recognize Child Abuse Prevention Month, Lumpkin County hosts an annual Child and Family Resource Fair every April where individuals are recognized with Kids First Awards. Due to high rates of child abuse and neglect, prevention is at the heart of Lumpkin County Family Connection's efforts. Our family advocacy program employs three advocates within different schools to work with families at risk of abuse or neglect. Advocates help develop strength-based case plans, facilitate weekly educational groups, and offer welcome services at each school, such as food, clothing, and supply pantries. This program could not continue to help hundreds of families each year without the support of our school system, local businesses, and community organizations. Job insecurity is an issue facing many students in Region 2. To help children not have to worry about where their next meals will come from, many of our counties have engaged community partners to begin weekend feeding programs. Banks partners with Rotary Club to feed 100 students weekly. Dawson helped engage partners and incubated a local Backpack Buddies program. Lumpkin oversees a Backpack Buddies program for 93 students. Union serves 229 students each week through the Goodies from the Heart weekend food program. Y County serves about 200 students each week through the Backpack Buddies program. Towns County serves 149 weekly through the Backpack program. Together we are making a huge impact on child hunger. Hart County serves 80 students weekly. In response to an increase in teen pregnancies, Hall County Family Connection Network established a Teen Pregnancy Prevention Task Force. Over the years, the task force has organized efforts such as parent education, roundtable discussions, and teen events such as the Hall County Teen Maze. In 2014 and 2015, Teen Maze served over 700 eighth grade students and brought together over 350 community partners and volunteers in order to work toward the common goal of preventing teen pregnancies in Hall County. 
Hart, Banks, Slumpkin, Stevens, Towns, Habersham, and Union County's Family Connections have mentor programs within the local schools. Students often improve their attendance, have better grades, and fewer discipline referrals, not to mention higher self-esteem. Lumpkin has 63 active mentors. Stevens mentors served 119 students last year, and Union County completed last school year with 52 mentor student matches. And Habersham Family Connection offers support to their local mentoring program by providing incentives to the most active mentors. Lumpkin White, Towns, Habersham, and Union Collaboratives all focus on improving school success. In order for our students to succeed, they need the basic items many take for granted. Therefore, these counties have community outreach programs to provide school supplies, hygiene items, eyeglasses, shoes, clothes, Christmas assistance, and food to the students. Lumpkin and White counties also offer dress boutiques to assist students in attending formal events. Habersham maintains a closet for students which contain jeans, shoes, coats, and prom dresses. Banks, Dawson, Lumpkin, Habersham, Towns, White, and Union Counties all hold school supply drives annually to help students start school ready to succeed. All counties in Region 2 host a monthly collaborative meeting to build and maintain a comprehensive community network to assist in improving the quality of life for children and families through collaboration. Resource presenters speak on a variety of topics at collaboratives to help educate the community on needs, resources, and incentives. You can learn more about your local collaborative meeting at gafcp.org. Banks County Family Connections focuses on school dropout rate. In doing so, Career Day was started. On Career Day, 30 to 40 careers are available for students to explore and hopefully find paths that they wish to follow. Our dropout rate has dropped from 15.3% to 8.75. Lumpkin, Stevens, White, and Habersham Family Connection offer parent education with the goal to prevent child abuse and neglect. Lumpkin's family advocates facilitate weekly parenting, life skill, or support groups and also partner with Head Start to offer parent cafes. White County Family Connection partnered with an elementary school to provide active parenting classes for 12 adults with food and child care provided. Stevens County has implemented First Steps, which will provide education and support for over 350 families this year. This past fall, Habersham engaged community partners to offer a 10-week session of parenting classes. White County Family Connection has sponsored a Youth Advisory Council for the past 12 years. This group has hosted many activities helping the students learn to make good choices and smart decisions. We have participated in Red Ribbon Week, Grim Reaper, Motivational Speakers, Botkin Life Skills, and Mentoring of Younger Students. This partnership with the high school has helped over 250 students succeed. The past eight years for Franklin County have been full of challenges and surprises. However, we always find a way to focus on what is most important, our children and families. For instance, through collaboration and strategic planning, our graduation rate rose from 58.9% in 2007 to 91.6% in 2015. We have been through a multitude of changes in the direction that the Forsyth County Community Connection has headed. Despite the fact of Forsyth County being one of the wealthiest in the state of Georgia, we still have a multitude of problems facing our children and families. Over the last three years, we have been the catalyst for recruiting foster families. We have increased the number of foster families in the county from three to a staggering number of 47 families. In 2013, when I started as the education director, we had just over 27 drug overdose cases within among high school students in our community. In September of 2015, we were awarded a five-year grant to add more educational opportunities for parents and children facing the danger of drug use. In 2016, we began the task of educating 5% of our population in the Darkness to Light program. We have been fortunate enough to have a strong partnership with the Board of Education and Sheriff's Department, along with local county and city government. We do two annual fundraisers to support foster families and the Darkness to Light program. We also have our annual Blues and Q, along with coming Christmas Jingle Jog. Towns County Family Connection is proud of our strong partnerships. 
We are so fortunate to have the support of our schools, college, local elected officials, businesses, service providers, and concerned citizens working together to decrease child abuse and neglect and increase school success in Towns County. The community support for our children and families in every endeavor over the last 16 and a half years is overwhelming. Since 1997, Region 2 has leveraged over $30 million for programs and services to improve the quality of life for children and families in our communities. We have a lot to celebrate, but we also have a lot of work to do. Georgia Family Connection will embark on the next quarter century by refreshing our brand, redeveloping our website to better connect partners to resources, and empower our collaboratives to craft local solutions based on local data-driven decisions. Go to GAFCP.org to find your local Family Connection Collaborative.